Okay then, here was all I do a lot of options is um, how the Commodore V6 uh, oil pump here. This is a front assembly, the timing cover. The timing change usually behind here, driven off the crank onto your camshaft. That's where your water pump goes, that's where your pipe is in there. On the EK Tech model, this goes through the bloody tensioner and they change the whole belt tensioner assembly. You get to pull this out. Which is a nightmare how they did it. This is this whole assembly here, which you would normally see. Which is this assembly here, this aluminium assembly. Water hose comes out there, bolts on the front. This engineer happens to have a, I think it's a brand new water pump on this one. There you go, had a brand new alternator. Yeah, it's just not worth fixing those engines to get once I spin the bearing. Oversize, you gotta get oversized bearings, get the crank reground. It's just not worth it. Too much money. Especially for those engines. So that's under these and yeah, these are I think these are done to a certain spec. Yeah, now I need two out to this one. So they're pretty simple here, there's like a gear type pump. There's a little valve in there, so let's have a look inside. Here, all these came up quite easily, they just sn snapped loose. Just as I thought, a gear top oil pump. Now, the, as I said, as soon as the bearing spun, this was never run. We just towed it around, then took the engine out. And even with diagnosed at this early, the, the damage is already too far, um, too far gone, so it's just... Once I spin the bearings these engines, that's it. They're already not worth fixing. As soon as you notice the noise, that's it. The crank's already gone. But you can see there's no, um... Bit of uh, crap in there, but it's not actually metal filings in here. If it gets like that one here is, yeah. That'll have metal filings run through here, so... It actually does quite a bit of damage to spun bearing. The amount of knock that engine's got. I've shown in the previous video the, the play it had by moving the crank back and forth, had a fair bit of play. From what I thought, I reckon is about, I thought, must have felt about 10 millimetres of play, so all that metal flooding around in there. When it got caught in the filter, I've got a real fine bits. When it got pushed into here and damaged the oil pump, if it's worse enough. There's not much pinning in there either. This engine only done it about 100,000 k's and it got thrashed. So it looks pretty damn good. There's a little bit of pitting there. I love these old gear pumps. It's the only thing that goes in a certain way. So if I put that back in and just show you how it works. It spins out on a crank like that. So there must be an inlet from where the inlet is from the um, pickup. Um, one where the pickup goes. Sucks in there. Oil goes in through the filter. That's your pressure sensor for your oil gauge there. Yeah, oil light on your dash, that's your sensor. So I think that must be the outlet actually. Goes in this way, out, must come out of here somewhere. Take this out and find where the outlet is. Now I can't get this out. Can't get this out. Um, there's a hole in there somewhere that comes in. Under there the oil comes in. Gets displaced. Comes out here through the block into your yeah, pretty sure this is the um, in inlet, and that's the outlet. So it pushes through here, and it pushes into the um, journals of the crank to your bearings, if you find them in. There's another, there you go, there's another, another opening in here, where the oil goes. I'm pretty sure the um, inner part of the filter is a suction, so this one here goes in, stuff gets trapped and then comes out through the other side, through here, there's a little spring in there, there's a valve in there, comes out of there, then it must pressurise it into this chamber here, which goes 
Yeah, there's bolts and come undone. There you go. There's more bolts here we can undo. Take there, there. Some oil pumps are simpler to understand than others, so it's the first time I've stripped one of these down. So you've got the main inlet there, and the outlet, which probably comes out through here, into the journals of the crank, so through the hole in the centre of the crank, and out all the um, holes to the main bearings in the block, and the um, uh, conrod bearings, and everything else, which are the lifters, go out to the cam, put pumps it to the top, and everything gets slung around. It's pretty simple how these work. There's the oil, it's not, it's not much uh, crap in there. It smells like carbon, doesn't smell burnt though. There you go, might as well take these bolts out and have a look under here. Now if you always got the oil filter off, that revealed a little bolt behind there. There you go. Came off quite easily. Little gasket there, which has got a bloody crack in it. It's quite simple how they work. There's a little valve there. So I'm assuming it's some sort of bleed valve that covers that hole there. If I pull it out, you can see right through this bottom hole into this little gallery here. Just goes in through there, comes out into there. It's much like some sort of bypass. I think it's a, something nasty happens or if the filter blocks up or something stupid like that, this could be pressure, uh, bypass and the oil can escape somewhere without um, over pressurising or doing any damage to the um, pump or any of the housing. There you go, you see what you got there, some crap in there. Bit of a sludge uh, residue in there, sitting in the bottom there. That's why it pays to change your oil. It minimises all this, um, the risk of having all this rubbish built up in your oil, in your engine there. Which ain't good for it. And that's where the sump goes, the sump bolts on there. Now the pickup supply from the block, I think, would have went, I think that may have went in here. Sucked in through there got pulled in, out through this way, comes out through there, which goes in there, and that's your, put a pressure gauge on that, that little bung there, out through there and out here, in there, so it goes in there and out these holes, and into there, comes out of there, It goes on that way. Out of there. Back in there. There you go. And that's a little valve in there. That little bit's just pressed in. You can see the other side of it there. There you go. Thanks for watching.